Hello, my name is Doug. Uh, I'm going to make uh, a few Blender tutorials uh, for you guys, so you, get, you can get um, the hang of uh, how to work with Blender. Uh, I'm going to use um, Blender uh, 2.42 uh, for these tutorials. Uh, so it's the version of Blender I know, or well, uh, the bl version of Blender I know something about. So I'll just start by opening Blender, and the first thing uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to press A uh, one time to unselect everything, and then I'm going to press A one more time to select everything in the scene, as you can see on my screen here. Uh, I will do this, so I delete uh, the camera here and the light because that is something we won't need. To delete it, you just press uh, delete and then enter or use your left mouse button to confirm. Okay, so this is the grid. Um, we can move around um, here by scrolling in and out. Uh, if you press um, If you press uh, the third mouse button, uh, you can rotate around and search. Uh, and if you hold, sh if you press press shift uh, and uh, the third mouse button, uh, the scroll wheel to be exact, you can move the grid around. Uh, you can also press uh, the numeric keys. Um, if you're on a laptop, you will have to press Fn and then uh, M and K and I and something. Uh, but if you're on a normal computer and got a real keyboard, you would just have to press uh, the numeric uh, keys uh, on the right to the, uh, on the right of your keyboard. So if you press one, uh, you get into this view. I'll just start by going back to the way it was when I started when you opened Blender. Uh, this is the top view, uh, you can select it. Mm, no. <laughs> yeah, uh, if you go here, you can you see where the views are. So, top view is numpad 7, front is numpad 1, side is numpad 3, and then you got uh, the other numpads where you can rotate around. So uh, the first thing I will do uh, here is uh, adding uh, a cube that we can play with. Or I'm actually going to uh, add uh, a cylinder just for now. And I'm going to make it uh, 12 vertex because this is what tutorials are all going to be uh, for the game Urban Terror. And in urban terror, every tri every tr every trace counts, right? So here uh, is our cylinder. If you press the third mouse button, you can rotate it around, and you can see it is a cylinder. If you press uh, the numeric uh, one button, you will see uh, we come. This is the front. This is numeric three, so this is uh, the side, and seven is the top. Uh, yeah, uh, there's one more thing. Uh, if you don't, uh, uh, if you use just uh, the number keys that is uh, on top of the keyboard and not to to the right of the keyboard, you will select between the layers. So if you press two, everything is going to disappear because everything you have made so far is on level one, in layer one. Uh, you cannot see the layers here. But if we go back to uh, object mode, this is actually edit mode. Uh, when you add something, it uh, automatically goes into uh, edit mode. So if we go to object mode, or you can uh, press tab, uh, tab uh, takes you between uh, the last two modes uh, you have you've been in. So if we go into object mode, 
down here. Uh, you can see that there's these boxes down here, and these are layers. So if you press two, it will go to layer two and three and four and so on. So just make sure uh, you use the right keys. Uh, one other thing you can have a look at here is in this little box. Um, you can choose uh, different ways to look at the objects. Uh, solid is the standard. I'm not going to use uh, anything else before I textured the model. And as you can see, it, it's just grey uh, because there is no texture on the model yet. So I'm just going to take it back to solid. And then I'm going to go uh, into object mode and we can start playing with it. So I will go into top view, pressing the tab 7, and you will get into top view of uh, the, the cylinder. Then what we can do, we can try to move the cylinder around. If you press G, you will take the whole object uh, and move it around with you. You can also use these arrows to move it around. So, G to move it around. Right. Uh, one other thing uh, we can do with this cylinder, if you press uh, the S key, key uh, you can scale the cylinder. And if you hold control, uh, or if you press control, uh, you can see that it moves uh, with 0.1 each for each step. Uh, one thing that is important to note in Blender is that if you press uh, right mouse button it will go back to where it was before. Uh, the same happens if you press escape. So if you want to change this to, to stay uh, the way you make it you will have to press the left mouse button. So, we have scaled uh, our cylinder. What we can do now, if we go into uh, front view, we can press R and we can rotate it. This, uh, if we press control again, uh, it will do it uh, step by step uh, with 5 uh, degrees between. Um, what we are also going to do is when you press rotate, if you press the third mouse button or well, the wheel on the mouse, it changes uh, with changes uh, axis so we can rotate it on uh, different axes. And if you go back and use the scale, uh, it does the same thing here you choose uh, what axis you're working on using the third third mouse w um, button or well, the scroll wheel uh, I'm just going to press uh, the right mouse button to step out of this again right so uh, we have done some basics here now I played some uh, with the cylinder uh, I'm going to press A to unselect everything uh, and I'm going to press this point here. Uh, if I press just this point here, I can move, uh, move it around and changing the cylinder. If I would like to uh, select more points, I will have to press shift uh, and use the right mouse button. I'm just going to unselect this right now. I'm going to use uh, shift and the right mou mouse, mouse button to select more of the points or or, yeah, or the vertex as it's called and we can move them around. What we're also going to do if we go into front view uh, if you press control and use the left mouse button 
can drag and you get this circle and it will select everything within the circle and you can move all the select points in blender you can choose between working with uh, the vertex uh, or you could work with the edges or even the faces uh, something you, m uh, you may have noticed uh, is that you can select things you actually can't see if you want to if you want to be able to select what you can see you can press this button down here uh, and you will just see what what you would normally see you can see through the through the cube or the cylinder right um, I think that's pretty much uh, the basics so if you just remember um, the navigation just play around really uh, try to add some uh, add some cylinder uh, add some cubes just play with them and use G to move uh, the objects around press A to unselect and A to select press R to rotate and press S to scale and well that's pretty much um, yeah, what you will need for my next tutorials uh, I'm going to have some more functions uh, you will need but I'm going to explain everything in the tutorials later on so thank you for watching um, if there's anything unclear, please tell me. If there's anything I should add, tell me. Um, this is just uh, the first try of Blender tutorial. Uh, I'm probably going to uh, redo this tutorial uh, as I'm. as I wasn't really sure what I was going to say when I started. So again, thanks for watching and good luck.